Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you're doing very well under the、uh, facing the difficult situations we are having right now. So uh, uh, I continue to pray for your、uh, better health. Okay. So meanwhile, stay very positive and very strong. Okay. So、uh, what do we have here today? So、uh, I am going to. Uh, show you how to cook the Japanese style、uh, miso soup filled with organic vegetables and、uh, pre cleansed, a、uh, cleaned pork. Okay, so uh, uh, roughly two pounds of pork. All right, so it's called,、um, I think it's named tonjiro, right? So it which uh, uh, translates a pork soup. Filled with organic miso paste. Okay, so, all right, sounds good. Okay, then, so the ingredients are number one, so organically certified miso paste. Okay, so you see this、uh, JAS Eco Cert. This This label indicates the uh, organically uh, certified. Okay, so now、uh, those of you in the States, I think it's named、uh, USDA organic. So you make your own. So I use, normally use this one. Okay, this is my favorite miso paste. All right, so then, of course, sake. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Niigata,、uh, for this one. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use sake, you may use. Vodka or gin or sherry, or those of you don't want to use any alcohol, that is fine. You, you just use the uh, you know, uh, purified water, yeah. And then、uh, fish stock, okay. So it s a y s shiro dashi. Oh, excuse me, it means clear broth、right? made out of bonito and kelp. If you don't want to use it, you can use the、uh, chicken stock or beef stock or. Uh, vegetable stock, or、well, you can make it on if you want it. So, I just、uh, and this one is the、uh, no, it, it's a pesticide free, right? So, when you buy the seasonings, make sure you double check there's no、uh, glyphosate or any other naughty、uh, stuffs, right? Okay, then we have、uh, fried tofu, right? And then organic onions, that's roughly. One, two, how many onions have slice? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six,、uh, you know,、uh, baseball sized、uh, onions that have sliced. And then, of course,、uh, organic ginger, okay, so pre sliced. yeah Okay, so I did that prior to do that. And then we have、uh, mushrooms,、uh, it's called、uh, eringi mushroom. I think it's called、uh, king oyster. Mushrooms, right? So pre sliced, I did that in advance. It's, it's organic, of course. And Welsh onions, organic. If you don't have it in,、uh, in your area, so you can use scallions or just regular onions like this if you want it. Okay. And then、uh, pre cooked、um, organic、uh, bamboo shoot. All right. So right now, those of you in the Asian countries, in the, you know,、uh, it's seasonal right now. So if you can go. You know, get your own bamboo shoot, I mean the tiny one, right? So、uh, you can do it, but make sure you check with the uh, local uh, authorities that because sometimes you need a permit, okay? And then we have daikon radish, okay? So if you don't have the、uh, daikon radish,、uh, you, know, you can use regular、uh, maybe turnips or you know, whatever vegetables, it doesn't have to be these kinds of vegetables, you can put broccoli or Whatever, okay. So, by the way, these are all an organic ones, okay. So, try to get organic ones as much as you can because、um, <coughs> um, I'll explain in a moment, but、uh, you know what? I do it anyway because if you're getting the、uh, non organic products, the, you, you don't get the、uh, proper nutrients, so you only can get roughly、uh, one tenth of the、uh, nutrients, right? So, and then the、uh, In speaking of, since this is the organic one, so I i didn't i use the、uh, daikon radish peel. I know it's hidden somewhere. Ah,、oh, here, right? Reason why I'm going to use it because it has the、uh, phytonutrient properties into it. So it has the tons of great, great、uh, 
stuff that you find in veggies and fruits, right? Fruits and veggies, excuse me. All right. And then, uh, so now, excuse me, my, uh, this place is so, you know, so tiny. It's like 727 or Learjet kind of uh, cramped up a kitchen. So I know it's not good to put it in the sink, but at least I, you know, put something underneath. So you know, I always you know, wash it with alcohol, and, uh, vinegar, stuff like that. So it should be okay. So, and then a pre-washed pork. Okay, so this one, uh, as you can see, you, know, you can look at my uh, bit shoot, right? About the uh, cleaning process or preparations, right? So, all right, so basically I soak it and wash it with uh, purified uh, water, right? Uh, and with e spring, you know, or you can use the uh, filter water system of your choice. I normally use this, all right? So, yeah. so, uh, so I use the uh, so this time I used here uh, this one yeah so I used the organic uh, rice vinegar okay and I also used the, uh, the, uh, the baking soda okay so not to be confused with the uh, the one I'm talking about right so I mean I mean I don't want to talk this stuff you know it's not good anyway so baking soda and uh, organic vinegar okay I mean, and, or um, you know, ideally, you, know, you, you can use this one as well, organic cider vinegar, but I, I just ran out of time, so I just used the uh, rice wine vinegar. So by doing that, so you can remove uh, at least, you know, you do your own research, about 65% of naughty stuffs, okay. Woo! No, this is the uh, cramped up. I, I kind of embarrassed to show you my entire, uh, you know, aircraft cabin size tiny kitchen, but I do anyways. Okay, so now uh, let's get back to the cooking. All right, so once again, some pork. Now, those of you who cannot eat pork, uh, you can use beef, uh, chicken, lamb. Actually, lamb is very good. So, you know, those of you can get some lamb. Go for it, okay? Maybe I do it my episode, okay? Because the uh, maybe, so to speak, Japanese style cedar meal. <laughs> okay, then the uh, fried tofu. If you cannot get the uh, deep fried tofu, you can just use regular tofu or fish cakes, you know, um, depending on country or area or state or province that you live, and organic uh, you know, soybeans. Now, make sure when you buy the uh, soybean, I mean the miso, right? Make sure it's pesticide free and stuff like that. All right, so this one is not, uh, is non-GMO, which is good. All right, so God have mercy, right? So, yeah. Okay, so when you open the organic uh, condiments like this, make sure you put it back in the refrigerator, okay? So, an organic ginger, uh, you know, five, uh, five uh, organic onions. It's already julienne or sliced, whatever you want to say, okay? So, I'm not the language expert. So, daikon radish, uh, of course, organic, you know, organic bamboo shoot, organic uh, Welsh onions, and organic Pink oyster mushrooms. Okay. Okay. And then um, I also have the uh, uh, purified water that I forgot to mention. So you need roughly uh, 1.5 liters. So just about, uh, that's what, 0 0.4 gallon, uh, roughly half a gallon, just le less than half a gallon. Okay, so. Okay, so let's get back to the cooking process. Okay. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna add some ingredients. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so normally, as I as, as you see here, I use the stainless steel cooking pan. But if you don't uh, have it, then that's okay. It can be, try not to use the uh, Teflon uh, uh, coated one, okay? So, because it releases PFO and other naughty things. So, this is what I've been using. Sorry, I've been using for years. So, it's pretty much abuse, you know? It's super good, yeah? So, this is good. All right. All right, so, it's like, 
<laughs> How silly. My silly goose and dumb duck today. Okay, anyways. Uh, now, uh, it's it's not required to put the uh, uh, olive oil, but you know what? I'm gonna add it anyway. All right, so just giving gives these uh, some flavor. Okay, so just one maybe teaspoon. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna add. Uh, I haven't turned the heat on yet, but uh, okay, gonna add. Okay, throw everything in. So gin, organic ginger and organic uh, you know, onions. Throw everything in. Okay. okay. Wow. I cannot play drum for the Beatles, right? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, by the way, so those of you who haven't subscribed, so please subscribe and thumbs up, okay? And ring the bell. Alright, so. And then, I'm gonna add, okay, the rest. Alright, so, daikon radish. Uh, of course, organic, okay, organic, you know, bamboo shoots, and organic Welsh onions, and organic uh, king oyster mushrooms, okay? So. Now, normally, this typical ones that add konyaku or the uh, 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 guilty-free yam cakes. If I didn't add it because it just ran up, and number two, and also carrots, right? Um, I, j I couldn't find carrots today, so I apologize for the uh, uh, carrot uh, uh, you know, uh, enthusiasts. But the word anyway said. And then finally. So okay, okay washed, rinsed, alright. So uh, pork. Okay. So I'm gonna add this baby. Hmm. Boom! Yeah, okay. I didn't use the word. I didn't say the word. Roughly, you know what? Because this is the mega size meal, so I'm gonna add maybe two table, tablespoons. I already put one tablespoon, so yeah, why don't I do maybe three? One, two, and then three. Okay. Now, I don't put miso paste at, uh, until the end. And by the way, the uh, miso paste has the uh, probiotic uh, properties into it, so it's quite good. So please check, okay? So please do your research, be not because I say so, so that uh, the more you get educated about the uh, food stuff, the more you do better, all right? Because I want everybody to be healthier, okay? So, the booze, all right? Uh, okay, so yeah, so Niigata sake. I mean, okay, so you can use tankari or a Gordon Gin or Bifida, a Bombay Sapphire, or Sapphire. Right, so uh, okay, yeah, why not? Sake soup. Okay, and then I think it's ready. Oh, even then. So for now, I got this one. It's an induction range uh, oven. Uh, all right, but it can be used gas or regular coil, like electric stuff. You know, your choice. Okay, now. This one, this particular model, uh, made by Amway, okay? So, uh, I think Amway Queen Cook wears in uh, certain countries as well, Amway I Cook. Uh, okay, so I think it's, uh, they call it a Dutch oven or just stainless steel, okay? So, cookware. Now, you can use any anything, you know? Just make sure not to use the, uh, 
uh, Teflon. Okay, so now this particular one it doesn't require super high heat. So eight out of ten, it's like uh, what medium high, I think. Yeah. So yes. Oh, you know what? What I forgot? I forgot to add Mr. Tofu. Sorry. Here. That's it. Why I didn't put the uh, meat uh, first? Because, number one, you do not want to burn the meat, right? That's why I put the veggies first. And then, oh, you know what? Another thing I forgot, water. This one is purified water, okay? So, 1.5 liters. So. doesn't look good doesn't it I mean it doesn't look good but nutrition value wise looks very good Sam so. So paste until the end, okay? Only last moment. All right. So when you uh, put some miso, you can use the. Uh, uh, you can. There are many ways to do it, but I just uh, dunk some, put some miso paste, and then stir it at the, uh, you know, chopsticks, a fork, or knives, or whatever. Okay. So, so this is how it looks like right now. So, all right. Ooh la la. All right, the panic zone warning. Yes, I understand. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Lord and Mrs. Eh? Okay. I'm gonna cover this one, right? So, not to be confused, this one, right? <laughs> Boom. Okay, so this one probably takes roughly, I would guesstimate, about 30 minutes. Now, this one takes only less than 30 minutes but depending on the cookware of so the choice right it may take an hour i don't know but you know please double check okay so okay i see you within 30 minutes i guess all right cheers stay hungry okay do, 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 do. okay so now um uh, it's time to add the uh, organic soy, uh, soybean paste, the miso paste. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna uh, show you. I'm gonna add this one once again. All right. Okay, so. Right. Ooh, look at that. Uh, look what we have here, huh? Once again, voila. Mmm, <whistles> awesome sauce. Okay, so show ya wow took only uh, 25 minutes yeah to cook in this baby yeah okay. you didn't see the uh, scummy stuff because the uh, uh, like I said I I rinsed the meat prior to that maybe that was the reason not too many scums anyway so let's get back to work okay I mean cooking right, so. so I'm gonna add Maybe two tablespoons. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Rick. Okay. That should be more than enough. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. You don't want to put miso paste in the beginning because you're going to kill the uh, uh, good, so to speak, good germs, right? I mean, not germs, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, good bacteria, okay? I apologize, not germs. Once again, it's a good bacteria, okay? And you don't want to be boiling hot. Maybe it's like a, not 212F or 100C, and ideally, at 90 C or maybe uh, 185, 195, 
Yeah. Okay, so. It's ready, actually. Yeah. As you see that, it's so good, right? Uh, you know what? Maybe I need to add more um, miso paste. Because yeah. probably uh, I put ta uh, two tablespoonful for, but maybe let's put some more. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Right? Better is better. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. It's good. Alright. You know what? With this big boy. Handle one. Handle this. See the miso paste of uh, brownish color. Beautiful. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You see the consistency. Eh? Go for it! Yeah! Right. So, this is what we got here. Did you see this? Ooh, nice, huh? Okay! Dinner's ready! Everybody, dinner's ready! Dinner's ready! Supper's ready! Okay! First of all, I'm gonna add tofu, of course, but the most importantly, pork, right? Now, those of you don't want to eat pork for whatever reason, use you know, other meats. Lamb is good. Maybe I'll make some, you know, lamb, uh, a kosher grade lamb soup, huh? a Japanese, uh, maybe hybrid. You know, those of you. Uh, know anything about, about it, you know, uh, let me know, okay? Because I love to learn different types of cultures, yeah. I'm not a diplomat, but I love meeting people around the world, okay? So, uh, so I put, so, it doesn't look good. I mean, I need to learn how to garnish, right? So, yeah, uh, some mushrooms and, yeah, why not? So soup. Anybody can make it. It's so easy. And then the more you eat, the uh, cleaner, right? Cleanest uh, food. You sh you should be proud, all right? Because you know, food cooking is like an edible uh, uh, chemistry lab. Okay, so lots of veggies, lots of meats, right? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add some more miso soup. You know, it's not presentable, right? <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is the miso flavor. Okay, pork soup. It's called tonjiru. Tonjiru. Right. Okay. So, um. Okay, I'm sorry I'm gonna be eating in front of you like this because it's the chef's privilege, okay? I apologize for that. Okay, cheers! Come pie! So, alright. So. Hmm. so, first of all, quick, okay, it's the pork, 
The best pork flavor miso soup I ever had in my entire life, to be honest with you. That's why I'm so proud, you know? The daikon, okay? It doesn't have to fully cook, you know, just, but I did anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Awesome, so. Hmm. Hey, it's the fried tofu. Mm. And bamboo shoots. Okay, bamboo shoots. Yeah. So right now it's seasonal. So uh, maybe I'll show you how to cook the uh, uh, fresh uh, bamboo shoots. You know what? Let's do that. It's not that hard. But you need to remove the harshness or uh, semi-toxic stuff, right? So, but other than that, it's super easy. Anybody can do it. <laughs> okay. Mm. 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 Lord have mercy. Welsh onions. Okay, it's called naganagi in Japanese. Yeah. Mm. And again, onions. So sweet. Mm. Mm. Okay, the most importantly. The miso soup, right? Miso soup, right? Cheers. Oh, I'm in the top of the world. Unbelievable. Wow. Mm. I'm so sorry, I'm kind of uh, bad manner. Excuse me. So, <laughs> but it's my honor to see you all. So good. Even um, normally I cook uh, hot stuff, hot food, right? I mean, um, year round. You know, it's because I just want my, you know, intestines gets less stressful, right? Because the more you get the colder drinks or eating, you know, ice cubes or shaved ice. I understand some uh, special occasions, uh, but uh, you don't want to eat that because you're gonna, uh, you don't want your intestines to get stressed out, right? So that's why I believe in hot, hot food. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Next time I make it with the carrots too. You know, normally the traditional Japanese pork soup, uh, they put. So other than uh, pork, right? So uh, pork, Welsh onions, regular onions, uh, burdock, or gobo right, in Japan, it just ran out. So and bamboo shoots, uh, did I say carrots? All right then, carrots. Yeah. And any other veggies, okay? You know, those of you can find any of these, you can use a cabbage or lettuce. Yeah, I mean, kale even. But when you, get kale make sure it's organic because spinach and kale you have to check carefully because you don't want to be uh eating the uh you know pesticides ridden or flavor veggies i'm sorry excuse me i apologize for that so you know just make just be cautious right yeah and then pork and like i said 
if you can't eat pork for whatever reasons, you can use beef, chicken, turkey. Mm, it's fine. Uh, lamb. Lamb is good. Next up, make some lamb. Uh, uh, same style, but with lamb instead. Huh? Yeah. And then, well, you can use some clams or seafood. No. But if I were you, uh, you boil the seafood in here, you taking out the seafood. Then before you're gonna serve, then put the seafood back so that it won't uh, be mushy or swaggy, right? So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna uh, finish this up. So uh, I want to thank you all. Okay, cheers. All right, so please subscribe and <coughs> thumbs button. Okay, then ring the notification bell so you won't be missing the forthcoming cookie shows. Now, if you want, if you would like to see any particular uh, rest, uh, meals or recipes or whatever, uh, just let me know. Now, please, uh, um, now I'm gonna have to warn you that I don't cook uh, blowfish or puffer fish because I, I'm not licensed, you know. Uh, it's a poisonous fish, right? I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so thank you. Lord have mercy. Cheers. Stay strong and positive no matter what. Okay, see you again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Hi, thank you for watching my cooking shows. Those of you enjoyed, please press the thumbs up and ring the bell. And then don't forget to subscribe my cooking channel so that you won't be missing the forthcoming cooking shows. Stay hungry and cheers and make sure you stay strong and positive. All right, cheers. God bless you.